It is a Sunday afternoon and my husband and I decided to just jump in the truck and go thrifting. So that's what we're doing. Today we're in Laurel, Delaware and I'm at this shop. It's called the Secondhand Store and let's just go in and see what we can find. Um, I think it's going to be a good one. Oh, right off the bat, I'm seeing this whole rack of purses. And do you remember that we did that live and I painted that big bag? Um, you know, the, the one with um, that pretty flower design. I'll link that video down below. But anyway, uh, somebody asked if I could find a bag and paint it. So let's just look through. Um, I don't think I want like a shiny fabric and I want the bag to be one that I would use. This one is more like a quilt. That's not what I'm looking for. Mm, possible that that would work. It's like a vinyl, just like that sewing cabinet. Mm, I don't know. I'm not crazy about the handle situation. I don't know. Ooh, what's this? Oh, this is my kind of bag. It'll fit on my shoulder. I like that. It's stiff, I like the body of it's stiff. I like that. Don't like the color but I like that. So we're going to get this bag for sure. Stay tuned for an upcoming video because I'm gonna make this over really cute. This is exciting. I just got a chance to meet, well actually re-meet the owner of this shop. You and I knew each other. Vendor spot yeah, thing yeah, that we, we did up in, each other, yeah. where was that? I think it was up in Pennsylvania. It was, it was up in Pennsylvania. We did a craft show together, craft show antique vendor market kind of thing together. It was a lot of fun. So it that's was. cool. And then I realized we just connected and we're like, we know each other. So, it's so, cool. <laughs> so everybody else doesn't know you. Who are you? What's your name? What's the name of your shop? Tell me that. Well, I'm Chris Rushing and the name of the shop is Thrifty Creations. It's not on the outside yet. We still have to get that signed up. Oh, so the, I just videoed. Okay. So it's called what? Thrifty Creations. Cool. Where are you located? We're right here in Laurel, right downtown next to the hardware store. Yeah, that's cool. Awesome. So how long have you been here? Um, we've uh, been here for a year. The shop itself has been here for three years, but we just took over a year ago. That's awesome. That's great. So I see here, I'm already looking. Like when I first walk in, I see this whole paint line and supplies. And anybody that watches me here on YouTube, if you live in Delaware, you need to stop in because it looks like you have tons of supplies for DIYers. Am I right? Yeah. What kind of stuff do you have? Like, tell us. Well, we have Miss Lillian's and I have another line back there. Um, I do the uh, stamps and... Yeah, so Miss Lillian's is like the paint and all the supplies to go with that because I don't think I've heard of this. No, it's great. It's great. It's a um, all-in-one. It's a no wax. Uh, oh wow leveling. okay she's got all the colors she doesn't get rid of anything she probably has over 180 different colors oh my gosh that's a lot we only have a few yeah so, oh i'm yeah. seeing some colors that my followers i know would love so you've got to stop in here and check it out and you've got another customer coming so we're gonna call it but thanks so much Thank you. i'm going to put the address for this spot down in the location i mean down in the description so you'll know exactly where to go she's giving me a business card so i don't get the address messed up but anyway thanks a lot you're welcome all Thank right you. see ya do you check out the linen department at thrift stores i know that i do and i love to find things like this i thought it was a tablecloth turns out it is a shower curtain it's 100 percent cotton i love the print on it i, I really love it a lot okay so there's another one of these. I, I love these things so much, but this one's broken. And I don't think I want to go down that road again. Do you remember what I did with the last teapot that was broken? I'll link that video. Who remembers shorthand? I know I sure did. I took it in high school. One of my sisters was very proficient when she was a secretary. She had to draft these letters that her boss would read out loud to her. So she used shorthand and then she would take that shorthand and type it and she had the letter.
I moved over to the other section of this store. There's a whole other section that's devoted to furniture. And then I found this chair while I was over there. It's so pretty. I just love this style of chair. I can imagine the seat being recovered. I can imagine that wood being restored to a beautiful, natural, lighter color tone. And for $15, what a deal. This dresser looks a little rough. I mean, I get it, but look at that pin and cove detail there on the on the drawer. That is a pin and cove joinery. It's really old. This is probably a piece from the middle to late 1800s. $185 is a pretty good deal. Plus look, it has that mirror that would mount over top. Oh my gosh, that would be so pretty. When we were vendors, we used to sell a lot of washstands that I made over. They make wonderful side tables or end tables next to a bed, and you can't beat that price. Look at that, $68. Look at this little flip stool. Isn't it so cute? So it's a step stool when it's flipped down, then when you flip it up, it's a little chair for a toddler. This is just the cutest little thing, $12. Oh, golly. I just think it's so adorable. Tell me what you think of that. Our next stop was Goodwill in Bridgeville, Delaware, and I headed right for the linen department again, and I found this beautiful matte lasé cover. It was so pretty. I really loved it, that scalloped edge. I didn't open it up to see if it was stained or anything, but as I perused through, I saw that there was another one, and then there were also these shams. So there were those two matte lasé covers plus the shams. They were all priced separately, and they were just really beautiful pieces. Now look at that. Isn't that just the cutest little rocker you've ever seen? I can just see a toddler enjoying themselves on that. I am eyeballing this little step stool. It is just perfect for my laundry room. Let's see if I decide to get it. And then there was this basket. Isn't this so cute? It kind of looks like a little suitcase with a handle. It has been repaired. I'm not sure if that's the correct way to repair it or honestly i think it's a little bit backwards you tell me what you think does that look like the liz on backwards i don't know that's what i thought and then this what in the world what is this thing? Like somebody, please tell me what this is let me know down in the comments if you have any guesses at what this thing is. You know that we like to do all sorts of makeovers. So I like to take one item that had one purpose and turn it into something with another purpose, like these two pieces. So there's that pewter bowl, really cute. And then there's this copper looking metal dish of some sort. And I thought it would make a really cute and unique riser. I turned it around just so that the base of it would be a little more solid. I don't know, that's, that's really cute. Let me know what you think. Here's the price list at our local Goodwill. And I'm just wondering, is your price list at your local Goodwill the same? Are your wood and metal pieces $2.99? Are your picture frames that price? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. This is one of those buffet serving dishes. So you would have a glass dish in the in the frame of it there. And then you would put those little burning things. I forget what they're called. Let me know down in the comments if you know the name of them, but they're like a flame that would be underneath to keep your food warm. 
Well, we've done some interesting things with these. In fact, I will link a video with a makeover of one of these chafing dish holders. I think you're going to enjoy it. This is a melamine tray and they are so easy to make over. I'm going to show you a picture here of one that I made over. Actually, I've made over a couple of them and I'll let you see those pictures right here. The full tutorial for both of those projects is on my blog at reinventeddelaware.com and I will put those links down below in the description. I'm back to this. I don't know, what do you think? Should I get this? I think these little sun hats are so cute. I'm thinking about hanging them up in my laundry room. I'm getting a little collection of them and they've I've paid anywhere from a dollar or two dollars to these. So this would be a really easy way to decorate for spring and summer. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Do you collect these kind of hats? Okay, so not a lot of filming in there. It's so weird when there's a lot of people. Um, anyway, what'd you find? Did you find anything good? Uh, I found a book. And I found you a mug. <laughs> I'll show you when I get home. I mug. found two brass candle holders. Woohoo! That I almost had to fight for. But what do you mean? What happened? The um, lady was blocking the aisle, so I tried to tactically, based on my police training, go around. <laughs> wow. And then I... she moved to keep me from getting from the other direction. So. So I had to be very creative and kind of act like I was looking at other stuff and then I reached in there and snatched them really quick <laughs> and then I ran. You didn't beat her down the aisle, I hope. Uh, that was the next step. <laughs> well, it was a good day at Goodwill. I thought we were done and then we decided to stop at one of my favorite all-time places to stop. This is a salvage yard, yard sale kind of a place. It's, I've called it Linda's for 40 years we've been coming here. The official name I think is Oma's Oldies, but we have found so many cool things at this place, but you really gotta dig and you gotta be willing to work through the piles. This, let me show you one thing I just found. All right, I can't get close because there are bees flying all around, but I'm in the back of this establishment and we're swinging around a park and I see this thing. That's a balustrade right there. See that? So a lot of the parts are missing. A lot of the spindles on this end are missing. There's all the spindles for that end of the balustrade. And then this is the part that would have attached to the bottom. If we did not have bees flying around and I don't know if you can see them, but they are crazy around this table. If I could, I would reach in there and get that thing. I could probably get it for about $5 and then do something with it, but I'm just not brave enough to get past the bees. So there's that. Anyway, this place that we're at is probably the one of the, well, I can't say one of the first times because we've been coming here for so long, but when we built the house that we're in now, I wanted a unique sink and this was 25 years ago. I stopped here and got a cast iron farmhouse sink, the kind that's the, t the tub of the sink and then it's got like a drain board and then it's got that high back. I paid $20 for that thing and we had it refinished and have it, had it installed in our house. We had it for years and years. We wound up remodeling the kitchen. I put in a stainless steel sink and that kind of thing. So I don't have that sink anymore. I can't show you, but we paid $20 for it. It was cast iron, you know, that real beautiful white look that you see. And I'll show you a little bit more of this place. Now it's an eyeful. That's all I got to say. It's an eyeful. Now, this is just the beginning. No kidding. A lot of it is covered up right now because it's supposed to rain here in Delaware, but all, a lot of this stuff is just piles and piles and piles and piles and piles. It is endless. This is a newer building. This, this building has only been here for a few years and I'll show you right there is the building that has been in a, here forever. <clears throat> and my kids, well, I'll tell you that story here in a second when I get over there. For now, here is the other, the building with some of the new stuff and they're trying to open it up. Like, look at that piece right there. That is old pine. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's so pretty. That is old, old pine. I love pieces like this. Oh my goodness. I Listen, that's my era right there. Here is just one of the cool things that you find at this place. There are four of these and these are cast iron legs that would have been on a tub, I believe, but I can just see these on 
here's here's what I would do with these things. I would get an old wooden toolbox and we have made over lots and lots of toolboxes. And I would put these legs on that old wooden toolbox and make like a coffee table. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. They're super heavy. Yeah, I love these so much. Oh gosh, this place is packed. Let me just show you. This is a very little hallway that you can manage to get in. And then look. I'm gonna tell you the story about this building, this old barn. I have to make my way. I'm gonna get myself right over there and then look back at the building so you can see it and then I'll tell you. But before I get there, okay, that's the door we were just in and then this is the, the side of it. There is just piles and piles and piles and piles of projects. That's what I see. I don't see a bunch of old chairs and old beds like this. Look at this. Look at this bed. Isn't that unbelievable? Now, I don't see piles of furniture. I see piles of projects. And every single one of them, I would just love. Like, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that the cutest little kid's roll top desk? I'm kidding. I love that. Now, see that office chair? right there. I need that in my office. It's so easy to get sidetracked here. My mind, listen, I could spend hours right here because my mind just goes and goes when I get to this place. There are so many ideas, so many projects to work on, so many pieces tossed aside and no longer considered valuable. But this woman for over 40 years, has collected and collected and collected and she sells it and opens it up to the public. You can come in and buy. It helps her, it helps us. And anyway, let me show you this building and tell you the story about it. 40 years ago, not 40, 30 years ago, I would bring my kids over here and this area here where all this old stuff is had, it was a display of tables and stuff. Now it's sold and resold and you know, it's just, turns over. The turnover on in this area has been plentiful over the years. This barn, my kids and I would actually go inside this barn. Now you cannot get in it anymore, but you can see up there. Let's see if I can zoom in. See up there. It's packed of stuff, but you're not allowed in the barn anymore. It was condemned or restricted for public access, whatever the words are. But we would come here, my kids would run around and just play and have such a good time looking at all the old stuff. And my husband and I would come and we'd find all these old pieces of furniture that we wanted to make over. And like before it was even a thing, we were just doing this for our home. We just got this stuff for our home and that's how we've decorated for the 40 years of our marriage. And we've just really enjoyed it. So we've been coming here a long time. If you're ever in Greenwood, get yourself on Route 13. It's one of the two main highways three. There's three main highways in Delaware. It's one of the main ones. I can't tell you the road name. It's like Sussex Highway. Don't don't quote me on that. And stop in at Oma's Oldies. Now when we get ready to leave, I'm going to show you the name on out there so that if ever you're in the area, you can stop. It is worth it to stop here. If you've got a couple of hours to search for some goodies, it is worth it. So this cast iron all looks pretty rough. I know, like that pan that looks pretty rough. Sometime I'll do a video, actually my husband will do it because he can take any one of these extremely corrosive, corroded cast iron pans and he can make them usable again. It's pretty remarkable. Like here is a griddle. It's a great griddle. That's no issue. That's no issue. The rest here, that's no issue. He can take care of that. And it, it's really, we were just talking, it's kind of a dying art to take the old stuff and make it usable again. You know, we're just a we're just a society that we're just a society that wants to throw the old things away. I don't know, I'm getting kind of sentimental here. It's a little sad, but that's that's what we do in this era. We throw away the things that we made in this country. And this might be offensive to some, but we wind up buying things overseas. It's got, not got near the quality. 
not near the quality because I can guarantee and I'm getting a little worked up here but I'll show you the scene I'm looking at I'm not I'm gonna tell you the quality that we're buying from overseas is not the quality that would last out in the open to be resold the stuff that we are seeing at these resale shops and these thrift stores a lot of it has been stuff that we've made in this country and it's lasted a long time you mean hold on to it then yep hold on to that please you don't want me to take your stuff off Joan so you can buy it come on make my day woman Well, I'm right here when you when you find it, yeah, and I'll no. take a look at it. And I waited the whole week before I went to the emergency room. Oh my God, it was horrible. And I had to wait seven hours in the in the in, in the outside in the whatever in the waiting. Just for perspective, that's the building that we first went in. And then I walked over there and I was on the back side of this building showing you the back side. Then I walked through the front here and then I saw all this stuff is when I was telling you that so much of what we are buying now, some of the cheap stuff made overseas, it would not stand the test of time to be out in the open like an area like this. Not saying all this is high quality vintage stuff, it's not. But a lot of it is, I'm going to leave the address of Oma's Oldies, or what I've called Linda's for 30 years, 30 or 40 years. I'm gonna leave that address down in the description. If you are coming through Delaware, this is a place to stop. I'll show, I'm still gonna show you the sign on the outside here because I don't want you to miss it. And she'll take stuff and she'll pull it out of this building, out of that building. Now this used to be completely open right here, all the way to our main highway. This was all open field, but she's added this building and she's added these rows. So what she's doing is she's taking her stuff out of these buildings and pulling it out so that people can kind of get to it. A lot of this stuff has to be repaired and fixed and glued and painted and all that good and imagined. I mean, like all that stuff. And that is kind of how we ran our business. When we were selling, we were vendors in a spot. If you didn't know, we were vendors in a local booth for six, about six years. And that's what we did. We reinvented all sorts of old pieces into vintage style farmhouse, home decor, and furniture. That was our mantra for six years. Now we're just doing it for our house. And this is mostly where I got the stuff because she was willing to work a deal with me. I was willing to take it off of her hands. It helped her. It helped me. And um, it helped a lot of people in our community decorate their home with vintage stuff at a reasonable price. Look what we just found. My husband just found this. 19... 63. That's the year we were married. Well, I was 65. No, you weren't. There was a mistake. Come on, on my tell the truth. Tell the truth. We That's were both... my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> anyway, we're getting this one. Flip it over. Let me see the back side. Yay! That's another. Um, oh, that's Royal Staffordshire. That's a different. That's a different label than the other one. That's cool. Anyway, we're keeping it. All right, so we just got a stack of stuff for $12. You're not gonna believe it, but we gave her some extra because- She's a nice lady. Because she's a nice lady and we like to support small business. And this woman that owns this store, her name is Linda. She is the epitome of small business. We're walking out and I'm gonna show you the stuff we just got here, but look at this car. Oh my gosh, that's so cool looking. That is so cool. This is one of the things that we got. Actually, Steve found this. What's this for? Um, we have an outdoor fireplace and the other day I was putting the screen in front of it 
and it broke. Ah. And so this one looks to be uh, brass. I think it is. Oh, that's and pretty. And screen. And it was $10. Nice. Well, actually, a lot less than that. A whole lot less because we got that. Plus, we got this humongous piece of leather that my husband will do things with. I don't know what. That what is going to be a strop, S-T-R-O-P. What's that? And when you are sharpening chisels or plane blades, you put a really mild abrasive. Oh. And then you slide them across this and it puts a really fine edge. Oh, that's crazy. I had no idea. That's so. awesome. Chamber pot lids. And one of you here on YouTube shared a great idea about how to display them. I already have three of them, three or four of these at home. So stay tuned for a coming video for what I'm going to do with these. And if you have a guess, go ahead and let me know down in the comments what you think I should do with these two and the other chamber pot lids that I have at home. So I also found this green bowl. It's filthy, I know, but that's okay. We don't mind dirt. We can clean and wash, right? So I don't have a, a stamp on this, but I think it's from a dish set called... Oh, now I, I can't bring it to my mind. If you remember, tell me, but it's a certain kind of pattern, certain kind of green. I have a couple of these at home. They're plates. I use them in my Christmas tree plate wall that I did. I'll link that video so you can see those plates, but this is a bowl that coordinates and matches with it. Then I found this set of four plates here. They're so pretty. Look at these. I'll probably do some kind of Christmas plate De uh, you know, decor up on the wall. These are ironstone. Let's see here. Um, Royal Virtuous Ironstone. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. But there was a stack of those. So I got all those. And then, of course, these two plates that I just showed you. One is 1963. One is 1969. We actually found this one first, and I thought that was kind of cool. Here's what's interesting. They have a similar scene. Not exact, but they're both like a farm scene. They both say the same phrase of God bless our house throughout 1969. This one, of course, is 1963. The calendar around the plate is similar. Colors are similar. And then check out this. This one is Alfred Meekin. This one is Royal Staffordshire. Isn't that crazy? Did I say that right? Staffordshire. Yeah know if I pronounced that right. I'm not sure if I did. They're kind of cool. I really like this one because it's 1963 and hubby and I were both born in 1963. 65. He's lying. We're going to load this stuff up, get it home, and then I'll show you the other things that we got at the, at the thrift store. At the other thrift stores. Not this one. This one's different, but at the other one. We are back and other than the stuff that I just showed you that we bought at Linda's, we got a couple of other things. So let me show you what I got and kind of what my plan is. This little hat is going to go along with a couple of others that I've been collecting while out thrifting. So I think I'm going to put a little collection in my laundry room. I'll show you when I get to that basket. This is the one that was fixed, but it's backwards. I think that it's actually supposed to hook through this. So this part's going to be back there. We're going to fix that. I'm going to clean it up and let's see what else we do to that. I just thought it was the cutest little basket for $2.99. These that my husband found, you know, I have a nice little collection. So these will be an easy little thing to decorate with. He also found this. Isn't that cute? We found this black stool that was $2.99 at Goodwill. I'm going to paint that out. It's going to be all ready for a vintage chippy look. I, I love that look. This, this, I thought at first was a tablecloth, but come to find out it was a shower curtain. I really love this. It's just got a pretty design. It's all, it feels like cotton and it was pretty inexpensive. I think it was $2. Let's see. There it is. Yep. $2. Cannot wait to show you what I'm going to do with this bag. So this is a little tote bag. I love the handles because they're nice and sturdy and they fit over my arm. I like that kind of bag a lot, but the color is not exactly me. So I'm going to do something really fun with this. Stay tuned and I will show you what I'm going to do with this $3 bag. So that's it. This was kind of an impromptu shopping trip. We just had a lot of fun traveling around. Let's see, where were we? Laurel, Seaford, and Greenwood, Delaware. And I'll put all the addresses of where we were located at each, at each place down in the description. If you like watching this kind of video of just thrifting with people, be sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned because I take a lot of these things. That one 
and that one especially, and I make them over. So you're not going to want to miss these. They're going to be fun and easy makeovers. And let's see what else. I think that's it. We'll see you next time.